It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Lions and the Niners coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one in the NFC, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is gonna be an old fashioned, old school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Kicker Jake Moody's got it teed up, and we are underway now from Santa Clara. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. And they start things off with a carry by Gibbs here. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll go again with Gibbs. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. First carry now for David Montgomery. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. Back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down and eight. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but when he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Throwing on third, gone. The throw right side here going to be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. That's taken on the 25. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Niners will go on offense first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever. From Iowa State, it's Brock Purdy. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. 
They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Derek Barnes in on the stop. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 31, here's a second down and nine. Now Purdy. That's caught out right by Jennings. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Taken in at the 22. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Oh, he caught it. Just couldn't get the feet down. Couldn't get that toe-tap sequence, right? I was ready to call him tippy-toes if that one was completed. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Goff now looks to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Purdy. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Purdy with it on third and long. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, 
they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. And it looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at about the 32. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Here's golf. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Second and ten. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. Shreds the tackle. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now a first down throw, gone. He's got a man here. It's Montgomery. And in for the Lions touchdown. David Montgomery, 45 yards. And the Lions are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Play action, now Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here's second and ten. Here's Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll get to the 29-yard line block down there. 
They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. It should be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. On third down, it's Purdy. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but the you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for not. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago, so a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there, and they get the first down. Purdy will look to throw again here. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Purdy now to throw. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 23, here's second and six. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice... Touchdown, 49ers! Jerron Jennings from 10 yards out, and the 49ers are an extra... 
extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some free play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Moody good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So that drive spans 13 plays, and the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Detroit's offense ready to take over. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes, or you can attack them, as he did there. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Golf. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and you're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Out of the gun. Gone. Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. These two teams all tied after one. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Goff now looking to throw. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. so far on third down just one for three thus far this is third and 14 back to throw golf the throwing left sideline there but it's incomplete and based on my math they've only converted one time thus far in this game so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit third downs they've been a problem for them all game they've got to start becoming solutions Here's Jack Fox now, as he's on to punt for Detroit. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And we'll see what he can do on the return. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. 
For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. For the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of the defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were. And you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. The throw over the middle, taken in, and he's brought down. First down, San Francisco, the pickup, 14 yards. Purdy off the play fake. That's complete out left to IU. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Back to throw, Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. They go play action here. Purdy dancing to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble in second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he'll get this down inside the 20. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And the 49ers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. McCaffrey. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. Again, McCaffrey. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the run. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. 
And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. That 7-0 lead of theirs, short-lived, as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? On second down, here's Goff. Going underneath, Gibbs has it, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one. And that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. To the air again. Golf. That is caught by Laporta, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash, dropped at the one, 23 yards on the play. That's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down, but they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. Gibbs is in the end zone, touchdown Lions. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied at 14.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he is out of bounds right around the 34. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. Second down, here's Purdy to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Well, that one fell incomplete after being tipped in the air. But I have to tell you, I had a bad flashback of going to head to the stadium stairs in practice. Because what we were always taught, any ball like that, if it's not spiked towards the ground and you actually tip it up, then that's an error on your part. Because now you've given hope to the offense, maybe help create a big play for them instead of going up and either intercepting it or knocking it down. I ran many a stadium step for my errors. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 23. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Now a second and 10. Toss left to Montgomery. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. This defense tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get him for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all he can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. Jack Fox now gets set to punt. officially the 49ers offense now they get set to head back on the field as we eat closer and closer to intermission Charles remember last time out they punted they would love to get points here especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half yeah and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides 
but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Shifts past him at the 45. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Open man is Samuel, complete, and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. And decided to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And this is caught, Jennings. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Purdy now to throw. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now second and three. Here's Purdy. That's caught by Jennings. And the Niners are going to be set up for the first to go here as the tackle made at the nine. Looking to throw. This is caught. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the two now, second and goal. Throwing here, Purdy. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the 49ers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter the extra point try now for moody it's up and good and that'll make the score 21 14 so that drives seven plays in length and it's debo samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Khalif Raymond now. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Back to throw, Goff. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. 
And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. To throw on second down is gone. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Gone. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun. Gone. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Off throwing again. A oh, little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot before break here. Golf. He's airing it out for Williams. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now. Offense is getting it done in the first coach, half. Take it away, Both coach. teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, this is McCaffrey. 
And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. This second and four. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the shotgun to McCaffrey, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Purdy bootlegging it. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. On first down, it's gone. It's Williams on the catch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip something up at the second level. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack. And they can also get downfield and catch the football. Now a first down throw. Gone. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw is gone. Throw right side, complete to Williams. Now an injured player here, so a stoppage, and that's Jamison Williams. 
who's shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Goff now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he's going to have a Niners first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, OK, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Here's Purdy on first and 10. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Now Purdy. This will be caught at Samuel. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 38-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Purdy now to throw. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. Pretty slow, pulled in by Kittle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Second down, ball on the three, first down marker at the one-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he is going to lose yardage here. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Now a third and six. Birdie. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown of the afternoon. And the Niners have taken a two-touchdown lead now. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to and you gave your defense some rest. What a big time drive in that situation. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And able to get this out to the 25. Detroit's offense ready to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll fake the handoff, now go off. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 14 yards that time for number 14.
Goff on first down. Over the middle and taken in by LaPorta. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 36. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. They work now on second and nine. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Here's Goff. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. We have to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Badgley able to punch this one through, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Niners set to take over on offense. going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at their own 23. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. Purdy now on second down. That's caught by Jennings. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Steps away to his left. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while well, he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and six. Purdy looking to throw. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. 
Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up third and two. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to have a Niners first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or a takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 69 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. And carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The Niners on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. Here it's third and three. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12, first and 10. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Now Purdy toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Purdy. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. A throwing here, Purdy. That is caught by the tight end kill. Touchdown. have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere they forgot about the tight end spot and he's the one that burns them there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets them. Moody good with the extra point and the lead is up to 18 now.
So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Raymond now on the return. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And Detroit getting set to go now. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Time running short here in the fourth quarter. You're down three scores. And I think you've got a defense here saying, we just need to prevent the home run. So a good, smart offensive coordinator can use that as an advantage. And that's a nice throw there to pick up the first down. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Now gone. This one swung out to Montgomery. Five yards, now it's third and five. To the air again, Goff, able to find the open man, that's complete, and he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball, and I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. That's into the hands of Khalif Raymond. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Now Montgomery. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. 
fourth down and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise, but how about the coverage they're able to bat it down? Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 87 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Here's Samuel. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Third and eight. Back to throw, Purdy. Through the juke, and he's gonna have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you try to find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. So the victory here for San Francisco, and you look back over the score sheet, interesting, a very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, Tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.